Mrs. Carter will tell you when it's time. Go. Yeah. Once upon a time, way out in the desert, there were three little javelinas. Javelinas are wild, hairy, southern western cousins of pigs. Their heads were hairy. Their backs were hairy. Their bony legs, all the way down to their hard little hooves, were very hairy. But their snouts were soft and pink. One day, the three little javelinas trotted away to see their fortunes. And this hot, dry wind, the sky was almost always blue. Steep purple mountains looked down on the desert where the cactus forest grew. Soon the, the little javelinas came to a spot where the path divided, and each one went a different way. The first little javelina wandered lazily along. He didn't see, see a dust storm rolling across the desert until it caught it. Blue and blue, and left the blue away, and left the first little javelina sitting in a heap of tumbleweeds. Pushing himself off, he said, I'll build a house with them. And in no time at all, he did. Then, a long tailed coyote, he ran through the desert so quickly and so quietly that he was almost invisible. In fact, this was only one of coyote's many magical tricks. He laughed when he saw the tumbleweed house and smell the hobbling of the side. A tender, juicy pig. <laughs> he thought Coyote was tired of eating mice and rabbits. He called out sweetly. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. What was it that? Chitty, chitty, chitty. John, the first little hobbling of who had a lot of hair on his chitty. Then I'll hop and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said Coyote. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the water from the wee house. Oh. When Ozzy Hollow knew the false little Hobbling escaped and went looking for his brother and sister Coyote, who was very sneaky, tiptoed along behind. The second little Hobbling walked for miles among the giant cactus plants called Sauros. They held the ripe red fruit high in the sky, but they made almost no shade, and the little hollow moon grew hot. Then he came upon a Native American woman who was gathering sticks from inside a dried up cactus. She planted, she planned to use these long sticks called Swaro ribs to knock down the sweet cactus fruit. The second little javelina said, These may have some sticks to go to house. <laughs> she said, which means yes in the language of the desert people. When he was finished building his house, he lay down in the shade. Then his brother arrived, panting from the heat, and the second little javelina moved over and made a place for him. Pretty soon, Coyote finds the Saguaro River house. He uses magic to make his voice sound just like an Argonauta Little pig, little pig, let me come in. He called, but the little Hobbling is suspicious to signify, like, no, not by the hair, my chin, chin, chin. I am going to eat your hair. Thought Coyote. <coughs> then Coyote smiled, showing all his sharp teeth. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed and he puffed, and all the Saguaro ribs coming down like the two little coyotes escaping the desert. Still not discouraged, Coyote followed. Sometimes his magic did fail, but he usually came up with another trick. The third little hobbling that trotted through the beautiful Palo Verde trees with green trunks and yellow flowers. She saw a snake flying smooth as oil, as a hawk floated round and round above her. Then she came to a place where a man was drinking a doby dress from mud and straw. Her looks lay on the ground, baking in the hot sun. The tall little hobbling a thoughtful mate and said, Will I please have a few doby bricks to build a house? which means yes in Spanish, the bird makers like much so the third heavily the built herself a sort of little adobe house full of its summer winter. When the brothers found her, she welcomed them in and locked the door 
had the coyote followed their trail. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. He called. The three little javelinas looked out very looked out the window. This time Coyote pretended to be very old and weak with no teeth and so and a sore paw, but then they but they were not for No, not one have more chitty chin chin. Called back the third little javelina. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. He said Coyote. He grinned up thinking of the wild pig dinner to come. Just try it, shouted the third little javelina. So Coyote puffed and puffed, but the UW bits did not budge. Again, Coyote tried. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The three little javelinas come with their hairy ears, but nothing happened. The javelinas peeked out the window. The tip of the coyote's raggedy tail whisked right past the noses. He was climbing up the tin roof. Next, coyote used his magic to make himself very steady. The steady point. Yes, with her little Havelina. Quickly, she lighted a fire inside her wooden soul. What, a, wood soul. what a feast it will be. Coyote said to himself, he squeezed into the stone pipe. I think I'll eat them with red hot jelly sauce. Whoosh, sizzle. Three little javelinas heard an amazing noise. It was not a bark, it was not a crackle, it was not a howl, it was not a scream. It was all of those sounds together. Yip, 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 <laughs> Away ran a puff of smoke that shaped like a coyote. The three little javelinas lived happily ever after in the adobe brick house.